The San Diego International Jewish Film Festival has been showcasing the best contemporary Jewish films for three decades. The films selected represent the Jewish experience, but in recent years expanded to include more Arab perspectives, as in Cinema Sabea. The film explores the lives of Arab and Jewish women in Israel who gather to take part in a filmmaking class. Then, surprising alliances are at the heart of Dead Sea Guardians. It's the Middle East, too much politics, but environment cannot wait for politicians. A Palestinian, Jordanian, and Israeli joined forces to raise awareness about the Dead Sea drying up. While that film looks to the future, other films look to the past to find new stories to tell about the Holocaust. Deadly Deception at Sobibor follows an archaeologist who views a Nazi extermination camp as a crime scene. What we are doing there, we are looking for evidence. There is something? Yeah. Filmmaker Gary Hockman hopes that films like his will aid in teaching about the Holocaust. I think it's important because I think people forget that a place like Sobibor is the outcome of violent bigotry. And for violent bigotry to exist, you have to have public hatred. And boy, do we have a lot of that in our current lives. My favorite documentary at the festival is Four Winters, about Jewish partisan resistance fighters like Faye Shulman. I managed to escape with my camera into the woods. The pillow was the rifle, the walls were the trees, and the sky was the roof. Shulman's determination to take photos under harsh conditions is phenomenal. A single image of her in her leopard coat with a rifle sums up the contrast between the life she previously led and the one she was forced to lead. The festival once again proves that there are always new stories to tell and new ways to see the world. Thanks for watching. I'm Beth Accomando, KPBS arts and culture reporter, and I cover the arts in San Diego. So please subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist.